Rise from your grave. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Game Grave. This might look a little familiar to you. We, we did cover Diver before, but it's actually about a month ago, it's pretty recent. Uh, we were playing through version 1.7, I believe, and today we're going to be playing through 1.9. And Why are we taking another look at this? Well, I feel the game deserves another look. Um, the developers went in and tweaked a few things uh, that I had talked about in the previous video, and I wanted to go in and you know see how it all comes together this time. Um, again, when I played it before, I still thought it was a pretty cool game. There was just a little bit with the in-game language that I felt was uh, um, a little bit confusing. Uh, but let's let's jump in and uh, see how things are going. So we're going to start from the beginning like we did before. So press X or right shoulder to display HUD uh, info so you can play with your controller or keyboard. We're doing keyboard today. So if you push X, uh, you can take a look at all your different uh, keyboard configurations and, and controller configurations. So this is one of my complaints from before, and it's great that they made it kind of like a permanent fixture for you to actually view that stuff. It's letting you know ahead of time, hey, these are all your buttons, there's a quick swap over to them, easy to find out. Press tab to display your scoreboard. And this is your scoreboard here. It's going to let you know, you know, everything you've done. Sharks killed, how many times you've been detective, uh, treasure found, times you've been poisoned. But one of the important things is your current objective. So your current objective right now is to read all the signs. Hold X for keybinds, explore the island, which is great. You're going to let people know what they got to do. That's, that's really cool. There we go. Welcome to Diver. Please have a look around, which we will do. So we have our, our sign from before. It gives you all your different key bindings and whatnot. But of course, as I've said, you can hit X at any time. And you can see all your different options for keys. Oh, the shop is closed. Oops. Into the octopus room. Woo! So yeah, a few of these levels I've already played through. And we're just gonna start from the beginning just to... Step onto the boat. Just to get the nuance of the game, to see if there's a anything more that, ch that has changed besides some of the, the little things here. So I'm actually going to play through a few of these levels as quick as I can to get back to where I was. Um, but I do want to call out again for anybody who's new watching, like, this is great. Uh, Diver is, it's a game based on a Quake engine. You know, that game that came out in 1996. For any of you who haven't played it, you really should. Um, but the developers behind this uh, created this interesting and bright world from a Quake engine, which I think is impressive in itself. You collect all this gold here that we're collecting. Grab these two as well. And you use it in this little shop here. You'll see that we now have Bob. Bob is our, our friend who's going to sell us stuff. So our current objective is uh, locate the shop. We have to grab a free air tank. And then we have to find the key in the chest. So now I believe... Not Let's see. Here we go. Find the key to the I think this is something I got tripped on, uh, tripped up on last time. And I'm trying to remember. E is to Your air actually pick will it up, right? Because before I believe it was giving me the help menu. Find the key to the so I'm pretty sure I have it, right? Should be good to go. So we get the air tank. And here we go, we go diving. So again, this is kind of nice that they made you take a look 
at uh, and, and hit X while you're underwater to show you, hey, check this out. You have all these different options uh, for things that you can do under here. So, swimming. Press and hold the jump button to swim around. Keep an eye on your stamina. And then everything is called out to let you know. The blue is your stamina. Green is your hunger. The white is your depth and compass. Uh, health is red. And blue is your air supply. You actually have armor, too, up in the top left. This is gray. So you, you do have different statuses, too. Like, you can be poisoned. You can be bleeding. Your finances are in the dumps. <laughs> And your weapon, so um, it's it's really great that they added all of this stuff in here. This is going to help people understand what what they got to do, and uh, this is going to help me immensely because I'm not all that great at remembering everything I have to do in, in a game. So blue, uh, so under air meter, we have a uh, blue means you have air in your air tank. Uh, oops, I'm sorry, let me repeat that. Air meter, blue means you have air left in your air tank. Air in your air tank left. I cannot talk this morning. White is how much air you have left once your air tank runs out before you drown. Hunger. You will get hungry, so be sure to use the local wildlife fish as a source of food. So that's your, your green bar. So we're going to be paying attention to our light blue, blue, and green bar mostly in this level as the uh, health isn't really going to come into play too much here. So we will show you how that works. You just take out the fish, boom, right there. We got some num nums. So the key that we have to get, uh, the objective of every level is to grab a key and open the chest that's in, in the level. So we're gonna go all the way to the bottom. I'm right, holding space. Stamina's running out. But we're still doing good on here. There we go, we got the key. Now we're gonna swim right back up. And that's what happens when our stamina goes out. We are getting the foggies, we'll call it. There we go. Key to the treasure chest. Boom, we're good. When you're ready, exit by the storm drain. So every time you are finished with the level, like we just did, uh, we, we finish this level by putting the key to the chest and getting the treasure, you always exit via the storm drain. And here we go. There we go. Level complete. Now this, uh, I remember being is one of my favorite levels from the amount of the game that I've actually played. Yeah, we got some great music going with us here. We got our hip-hop and all that stuff. And some gold. So this level is interesting. We, we, uh, we got our storm drain right here, so this will be our exit. We are now inside the barn. In the barn, oh, it's our chest. How how are we going to get that chest open? That's what we need to find out. By collecting the key that you see above, right up there. But how the hell are we going to get to that key? That is the question here. Well, let's check out our objectives. Let's see what we got to do. Learn about eels, discover naval mines, find key and chest. So with that in mind, we need to get ourselves an air tank. Let's go with the expensive air tank this time. So that was my fault from before. I was trying to see if I had gotten the air tank, um, but it, it even says when you buy it, air tank added. So. Good add in there if that wasn't there before, but let's see. We got our weapons here too, which I don't think we'll be using until the next level, but I'm excited to check those out. Okay, how do we get in there? Oh, we gotta go diving. Here we go. Faster swim here. So our hunger is going down. You can see that green bar was going down a bit. Oh, eels. Ah! So the eels can be dangerous. See that? They, uh, they're actually electric eels, and they will take your ass out quick. So you gotta be careful around them. Your main goal will always be unlocking the treasure. I can grab this gold here. 
grab all the gold I can. Because why not? There we go. And into this hole we go. Some more fish going. We gotta stay alive, right? We gotta we gotta eat these delicious morsels here. Now we got mines we have to avoid. Let's stay away from these things here. Big fish. Red snapper. Very good fish. Down we go. Further into the abyss of the way, uh, of the well here. I didn't do it. Sure, fish. Gotta eat. Whoops. Up we go, up we go. Let's get out of here. There we go. Running out of stamina quick. Where do we gotta go? Here we go. There's the key. I did see some gold bars back here. I don't really need them, but I was curious how one would actually get to those bars. Oh, there we go. Let's grab them just for fun's sake, huh? So I don't think I grabbed those last time I played this. We'll grab the key. We'll get our treasure. Boom, we got it. Drain that chest. There we go. Boom, we finished it. Now here we are in the underco uh, undercover. I was going to say undercove. Undercove would have been a clever little name for this too, I think. But this was the level, uh, the last time we played this, that we were having a little bit of a hard time with because it wasn't completely spelled out. What it was that we had to do is slightly confusing, for me at least. I'm sure other people playing this are watching the video yelling at me like, What the hell are you doing? Don't go that way, do this. You know. As the gaming public does when they watch videos. So, kill the fish. I gotta watch out for these eels. I got another pack of gold bars here I gotta grab in order to probably afford everything. <gasps> there we go. Okay, we made it out. We need a rest because we have been using that stamina up. We got gold, 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 gold. We gotta collect all the gold that we can to afford These shops are found everywhere now. this stuff that we gotta buy here, so. Let's keep buying, or rather let's keep picking up and then we'll get to buying. Really, really, really like the water effects in this. Really nice. Still baffles my mind that this was created in a Quake engine as well. Well, first things first, because I feel like we forget this, or I forget this often, but... Grab the scuba tank. Uh, let's see, we needed harpoon gun and explosive spears, so... We grab that. Get the explosive spear. So we got everything we need right now. So we're we're doing well. Doing pretty good. And up we go. Okay. Now the reason we're buying the explosive gun, or rather the uh, harpoon with the explosive spears, is because this door will not open. It requires explosives. It won't open for you normally. So. We're gonna shoot one at that and back up big time because the radius, the blast radius on this stuff is, it's hellish. Alright, we're gonna grab some gold here. And I'm gonna go ahead and save. Because, man, <laughs> I feel like last time I was having 
such a hard time restarting the level over and over. So this time I'm I'm gonna nip that in the bud. Just save right there. Oh, and I didn't notice it before, but you don't even need the explosives to get through. Actually, you can get through that those uh, plants right there. Who knew? All right, we're gonna blow this up. We blew it up. First, I am gonna go get some air back. Okay, we are replenished. Let's go. Ooh, another fish. I need you. Getting hungry. Now this is what I like to see. An area with no eels. <laughs> Those eels really, really piss me off when I'm playing. They, they get to me big time. Alright, you're just in my way. I'm going to eat you. See that? I've got a hell of a lot of gold right now. Oops, stamina's down. That's one thing I'm not a big fan of, are those effects there. I think I talked about it last time we were playing, but those, those effects are just not for me. I wonder if there's a way to turn those off. We have an effects menu. Pretty water, rain, caustic effect? I'm not really sure what that is. Maybe that's it? We'll turn that off, I guess, just to see what happened. Particle quality. Let's turn that up. We can handle it. But, hmm. Nothing in there. I wonder if there's anything in the video folder. Or video menu, we'll say. Graphic presets. Nope, nothing there. Brightness, contrast. We can probably turn up the game a little bit there. It's a little dark. Uh, Bloom is on. I guess we could just leave that on for now. I don't know. Hmm. Those effects are not really... Oh no, we don't want to quit. I want to keep playing. Not a big fan of those effects, though. Uh, as I'm, What I'm doing right now is I'm running back to the shop. I have a ton of cash, so I am going to go and buy a bigger tank. Because why not? I'm going to buy the big and... Boom, got it. How about this stuff? What do we got? Diver protection suit? How much... I got 46. You know what? Let's go for it. Now I have armor. And that should show on my HUD when I get back. Okay. We got armor. And we got a huge air tank. So I'm ready for anything. I don't know... I don't think last time I even got past this door area here. So I think we are ready to go in and see what's beyond this door. But before we do that, we are definitely saving. There we go. According to the information According I have... According to the information I have... Uh, hold on. I didn't catch all of it. According to the information, he has something, something, so... The double tank gives me 420 right, seconds. We got a lot of gold the down there and an eel, so... Forget the eel. Wow, look Hope at this room. Good luck, diver. Ooh, we got a shark. He's running. Am I actually hitting him, or am I just scaring him? Got him! Take that, Sharky! Whoa! One of my gems is flying away! Do it! Where are they going? Come back, gems! I need you! Well, I think one of the big issues is we are out of explosive spears, and I see another shark. And there's eels right below me. Okay, the gems are coming back down, so I guess that's good. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh... I want to avoid those eels, and they're both right there. I feel like I'm going to need to grab that gold to go buy more ammo for the shark. So, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll go in here. I'm going to kill the eel. Eel is dead! We're going to eat him of all the times that the eels have killed me. We're going to get some food here. So we've already killed one shark, but whoa, man, there's another one right there, like, just just waiting. You can see him right there. So he really wants a piece. So let's run back to our shop. Oop, 
Need to rest. Need to rest. Run back to our shop. Let's buy some ammo. Uh, spears are 10. Explosive spears are 15. Well, if we are dead on and we hit them with the explosive spears each time, we'll be okay. Now, I'm buying this food because I'm already running out. What was this gun? That was the spear gun. Okay, so I got two regular spears and three explosive ones. So that should be able to kill that big shark. I don't know what's after the shark. Hopefully not much. But we're going to get back in here. We're going to do another save. Because I feel like we're doing really well here. And I uh, would hate to lose that progress. So... Progress, I believe is what I said. I mean progress. There we go. Saved. Okay, there's our shark. Exactly where I wanted you to be. Oh, he's done. Nice. That works for me. I'm going to see if I can grab this really quick. Stay away from that eel. I do have another eel over here. And I got armor this time. So never, never fear, people. Oh, you can hang out on this middle thing. Look at this. This is cool. I should have went around here to kill those sharks. Okay. What do we got here? Looks like it's a switch that we have to access from inside there. So I guess if we go this way, we will be... Yeah, we got to go this way, and then there's probably going to be a tunnel that leads into that middle tunnel there. And we hit the switch and maybe it opens the vault. That's that's what I'm piecing together here, people. Get some food first. Oop. Up we go. Oh, okay. Oh, we can't get up here, can we? Can we go through the bars anywhere? Get out of here. Get away from me. I don't like you. So much, you're dead. That's what you get for messing with me. Tired of you eels, always thinking you're cool and you can mess with me. I'm tired of being picked on. How do I get over there? I did not see a, a break in the bars or anything. And I can't do anything with that yet. Oh, there is a scaffolding up there. Scaffolding up there. Can I get up there? I'm really watching my back because of these eels, though. These eels. I feel like they always want to get a piece. Okay, let's, let's try our hand at jumping up on this thing again. Scene. Oh, with more sharks? Oh boy. I can't deal with that, guys. How am I gonna <laughs> how am I gonna kill two this time? Well, it's open, and we gotta deal with them. So that means I have to run back and I, I absolutely need to get some more explosive spears before we deal with these sharks. So back in here we go. Get in there. Oh, that's right, I need the ladder for this part. Okay, got the ladder. So let's run back, get some more explosive spears. Taking both out, but better safe than sorry, I suppose. But now we can buy even more. I'm gonna save on the food this time.
Though at this point, man, using the sprint really takes it out of your food gauge there. My food gauge like went down tenfold just during that, that point right there. Okay, we got a shark already. So I'm going to swim over to this area here and get up. There we go. This might help us take out the sharks even easier. Is he going to explode? Yeah! He's done. So there's one more shark, though. There he is. I don't think I hit him, though. Did I hit him? Maybe I did hit him. Well, I'm going to eat him, because I absolutely need some sustenance right now. Yes, give me that. I need that food. Oh, there we go. Terrible taste. Come here, fish. I need you. You are mine. Alright, we're doing we're doing pretty good here. We killed the two sharks that were introduced to the tank. And we're gonna continue on here. But not before I save. Kill one more fish here. Okay, just making sure no one's coming at me from the back, because <laughs> you never know. We got the key. Look at that. And I hit the, the switch there. I like the little uh, rotation there. So this is the shop here, where it looks like a, a pipe that'll take you back to the shop, but I don't think I need it. Right now, I got plenty of ammo and everything, and I don't have enough money to really do anything with it anyway. Thank you. So, no wonder there's so many fish in this one little tank over here. Oh, I see. Okay, that dropped the scaffolding. And it dropped the scaffolding there and over here. How nice is that? What do we got in there? Just fish? There's some gold. And there's something beyond that area too. So I'm gonna grab this gold here. I'm gonna kill you and eat ya. And we're gonna go in here and just see what's in here. We got some gems. Oh, and there's a big shark. Where the chest is. What do we got for... I have got to kill this shark. Oh, I got him with that. Nice. Works for me. There's the chest. We did it. Can you believe we did it? I kind of can't. Ooh. Eel is giving me the warning sign. Hey, stay away from me, bub. Okay, we got to get back to the ladder over on this side. up here. Nothing. Oh, okay. So we got the chest. So that's kind of cool. If you were to come to this area, you would look down and see a shark and a chest. So that's pretty fun. And there you go. Level complete. You're going to need a bigger boat. Jaws, anybody? So this level is completely new to me here. I have not played this one. This is Sandstorm. Looks like it's got a desert feel to it. So let's uh, collect some gold here. Before we move on, oh man, nice big pool. Look at this area. This is nice. I just wanted to come up here and take a look at what we're dealing with before we go into the shop. But we'll go into the shop. And what are we supposed to get? We are exploring the temple ruins, find a key and chest, find the golden sphere. Okay, so we're finding other sets of treasure too, besides just the key and the chest, we gotta find the golden sphere. Alright, well I'm just gonna grab the freebie for right now. My weapon is gone, so I guess, uh, case over case, um, it, it looks as though, uh, Huh. Okay. Yeah. Case over case, it, it looks like you don't carry your weapons between levels, so. 
All right, let's let's just dive in here and see. I think uh, showing off the last level uh, definitely shows off a good portion of the game and what you can expect from these other levels. So I don't think I'm going to be playing through a ton more here in this video today, but I definitely recommend going to check it out with the updates that they made to the game. Uh, that's just a big fish. I thought it was a shark coming at me. I was going to freak. <laughs> uh, but with the updates that they made to Diver, I feel like uh, the game is well worth your time to check out. Um, the objectives alone letting you know what you got to get to prepare for certain areas, I feel, is it's a very important update. It's a very important thing to add to your game. Because otherwise, you know, people aren't going to know where to go, what to do. And as I've said before, that could just be me. But, you know, having direction is never a bad thing. I'm going to kill this squid just because. Am I supposed to be able to kill it that way? <laughs> He seemed to take a lot of hits, but I just took him out. There was a uh, an area here. Oh, this is just for air, it looks like. Okay. So we'll continue on this way. They're killing our stamina. Another squid. That's right, get away from me, dude. Oh, he's attacking. Oh, he's got gas and stuff, man. Oh, shark. Don't want any part of that shark over there as well. Me without any kind of gun. Oh, these squids are everywhere. Cool addition to the levels, though, adding the squid. I'm getting the hell out of here, because we got two sharks, we got squid. The squid is pursuing, though. You gonna keep coming after me? Oh, yeah, you are. Okay. Bring it on, dude. And I'll eat you after. Oh, noxious. You can run. Go for it, dude. Well, there you go, everybody. I think that is a great look at Diver. Uh, I think uh, it pretty much tells you everything you need to know about the game. I'm, uh, I'm going to try to continue playing through this a little bit. Because I, I am enjoying the game. Um, it's, it's interesting that... Uh, you know, once you finally are able to add certain things to your game, how, how much it really changes the flow of the game for you and, and for others who want to play your game. You know, when, once you make it uh, a little bit more accessible for people... Oh, great, I run right up into an eel. That's what I needed, right? All right, I got some wicked hunger going on here. And as I'm dying from hunger, I will say, everybody, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on the Game Grave. Oh, man. Oh.